Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This guy is up next and his name is Adam. Hey, does everyone have the fever? Do you have the fever? If you have Pokemon fever, do well with me! Yes, I have a fever. I had a fever a few days ago because of my cold. <laughs> so he's got the flamethrower deck. His strategy is pretty straightforward. Power up Pokemon that have powerful attacks that, you know, like a flamethrower that discard energy cards and uh, just do a lot of damage to your Pokemon. And he, I believe he also has stuff that can bring back energy cards to his hand and there's, there's no, no basic Pokemon. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> okay, I got something here. What should I start out with? Probably Machop. It is a decent 20 damage Pokemon. And let's get this sucker going. What do I get? What do I get? For a Tata? Oh no. That Magmar can do a lot of damage. But I can stall it out with energy removal. So let's low kick. Ah! Um, hopefully he will try and power up Magmar, because that'll really throw him off. Oh, yeah! Because, uh, he won't be able to power up Magmar fast enough to both retreat it and, uh, save it. So, yeah, that's, that's gonna be pretty nice here. Let's see, uh, I'll plop this on Rattata. And, oh, wait, wait! <sighs> I forgot to use the energy room. Freaking! <laughs> I was just sort of bragging that I had the energy removal to mess with them, and oh, he's putting it on Charmander anyway. Well, that was kind of an opportunity wasted to get, <laughs> to get Machop's HP down. Although, maybe not. I mean, uh, because, you know, he, he thought about powering up other Pokemon, but I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. But anyway, I, I used the energy removal on Charmander instead because that fire energy card attached to Magmar is uh, going, oh nice, is going to the discard pile anyway because of, uh, it's going, you know, it got knocked out so it got discarded. So yeah, and anyway, I don't think his deck is really running all that well right here. So I think this is going to turn out relatively nice for me, I think. <laughs> I'll just get Growlithe powered up for the future, and low kick full picks. I'm saving the energy removal for later. We'll see how things go. He might switch. Uh, no, he didn't switch. Okay. Fire energy for... I don't know, maybe I'll save it. <laughs> low kick. And hopefully I'll be able to knock out full picks next turn, or he'll switch it. Who never, you never know. We'll see. Um, no switch, interesting. Yeah, he's not the, the best of players, is he? <laughs> then again, I made a pretty big mistake at the beginning, because he could have fire punched my Machop. Uh, because I didn't use the energy removal, but whatever, whatever. It actually turned out a little bit better, because the AI was just being a derp a derp <laughs> Okay... Now... Oh. Mm hmm... <laughs> mm, I think I should... Get Growlithe powered up in case I draw Arcanine, perhaps, and I'll save that for the next turn, because I don't think he's going to be able to knock out Machop, unless he's got a plus power, which he very well might, oh god! Okay, <laughs> we're okay, we're okay, we're still good. He's thinking that he's going to be able to use Ember on the last turn, um, that Charmander's going to be out here, but that's uh, not going to happen, nope, that's what the plus power is for! <laughs> And I'm going to set this up, and he is going to lose a lot of energy cards here. <laughs> yeah, he's not the best of players, is he? Oh, well. <laughs> Nothing on the bench, and he's just got a Growlithe left. So, three turns at the most, and this should be done. Uh, I think I'll save Super Energy Removal, and he puts two energy cards on Growlithe. Uh, but for now, I will, I guess, plop that on there, because Arcanine requires four energy cards. If I even get an Arcanine, I don't even know if it'll happen. It's just a, a thing for the future. Uh, Charmander, well, maybe I should focus on powering up for uh, Charmeleon, oops. And like that, and like this. Oh, yeah. One turn left, unless he gets something to switch with. He's got no energy cards. Wow. That's a 
pretty unlucky game for him. <laughs> and I just did that for fun. <laughs> I win. Alright, that takes care of the flamethrower deck. Woo! Hmm, only about five minutes. So it looks like I'll be going to another duel. So what do I get in the Coliseum Booster Pack here? Ooh, computer search again, very nice. Let's eradicate the bolster of my rodent army. <laughs> See, I'm getting a lot of Abras and Cadavras, aren't I? Uh, but... You see all those, let's keep going. Oh, yes! Hitmonchan! One of the best basic Pokémon ever! I must put this in my deck. Look at this, 70 HP, does 20 for 1 energy, 40 for 3, so it can be powered up on the bench to do some decent damage. It's fantastical. <laughs> Another full of heal, that's nice. Star is pretty nice as well. Um, okay. Oh, you know I'm putting that in my deck right now. <laughs> Alright, so what can I swap for that? Maybe an Onyx. And Onyx for Hitmonchan. Good. Alright, let's hold it over to this guy, Jonathan. Come on, people, save fire Pokemon! You! Come on, save fire! Fire Pokemon! Okay, let's do it. <laughs> And he has the reshuffle deck, and it does exactly what it says. It's, it's a deck that sort of messes around with your setups by returning stuff to your deck and shuffling it up. And yeah, oh god, I only got one basic Pokemon, but I do have Professor Oak, so there's hope. There is hope. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's no hope. There's no hope. <laughs> I got Tails. Uh, friendship song... Nope, not gonna happen, huh? <laughs> the song was not heard. Alright, I should probably offset that a little bit there. By the way, uh, Magnemite will be awesome for Pidgey. It's just saying, so I should probably protect it. That's why I use the energy removal. Now, um... Um, um, um... Should I use Professor Oak now or later? I'm thinking later, so let's just do a Thunder Wave here. Ah, uh, well, it worked. I mean, the paralysis worked, but I used energy removal just in case. So, um, I wouldn't have to worry too much about getting scratch damage and whatnot from the pound. Okay, moving on. And I got Onyx. It's pretty nice. Although the flying Pokemon are going to resist it. And it's Thunder Wave. And yeah! <laughs> Next turn, what do we have? That's he's kind of powering up a Pokemon that's probably gonna go down soon. <laughs> what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this on Onyx, retreat for Onyx, then I'm gonna hope for a plus power here. Professor Oak. I know I should have saved the lightning energy, but I'm just trying to accelerate the game a little here. Uh, no plus power. Well, that's too bad. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to deal with just a rock throw. See, uh, Jigglypuff's weak to fighting. So, yep, 20 damage. It would've did 30 if I would've had a plus power there. Oh, and this, of course, he switched to the Pokémon with the resistance. Kind of expected, but still no less annoying. <laughs> mm. I could um, use a Harden attack and just let him... Uh, switch Pokemon with Whirlwind, because it won't do any damage. Uh, he, because he'll eventually try Whirlwind, I think. Or maybe he won't try Whirlwind if I use Harden. Who knows? Um, but for, what I do know is I'm gonna power up Magmar. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use Harden. Let's we'll see how things go. See what the AI does. What you gonna do, Jonathan? What you gonna do, Johnny? I'm gonna send you to Davy Jones's locker. Or Johnny's locker, or... You know, Super Mario RPG guy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I'm saying here. I'm just making nautical ancient pirate references. And there's my beauty! There's my beauty! Oh, my beauty! <laughs> I don't know how useful it'll be in this game because of the, the resistances that are going on here. But, you know, uh, we're gonna see. That's all we can do is see. Continue my hardening spree. I'm not attacking because it's resistant to the fighting type. It wouldn't be resistant to rock throw in the video games, you know, the main video games. It's actually super effective, but, you know, fighting types, rock types, ground types are all the same type in this game. And that's 
why uh, it gets the resistance with Pidgeotto there. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll put that there, set that up there, and... Okay... I'll just see if he whirlwinds. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the harden this time. I'm just gonna experiment here to see if he whirlwinds. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And here, oh, yeah, he does. So I guess it depends. I mean, the AI depends on uh, whether or not you prevent damage if it's gonna use whirlwind. So now I'll be able to switch into any Pokemon of my choosing. I'm gonna choose Magnemite and just self destruct it. <laughs> there we go. And I got super energy removal, very nice. Um, so there we go. And there we go! <laughs> AD weakness, that's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. And a lot of my Pokémon have a lot of HP too, so this uh, explosion will not damage them that much. Jigglypuff knocked out, remember it had 10 HP? Oh yeah, I didn't forget. <laughs> so I got two prizes here. Alright, and he put a Vulpix, so I am going to put out, put out, I think Magmar, his Pokemon are just resisting my poor Onyx to death. <laughs> so he's gonna do a Confuser, uh oh, not a Confuser, he's gonna do some Dancing Ember shenanigans next turn, potentially. Alright, get that on there, and let's accelerate this a little bit. Poison, please? Ah! Oh, well, I got 30 damage off it. Would have been 40. Now I'm gonna put some pressure on him. Uh, because the next damage he would have taken a little bit more uh, from the poison, then I would have done 20, he would have knocked it out. Uh, again, you know, oh, 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 oh. Being all tricky, huh? <laughs> so what am I gonna get here from my deck? I don't know, I'm gonna check my hand to see. That's nothing really all that special. That's a part of his reshuffle deck strategy, by the way, just to mess with you. I guess I could get Hitmonchan powered up in case I need it for Ninetales here, but I'm gonna hope for poison more than anything. <laughs> Maybe I should've went for Smokescreen and then uh, Smog, but I just want to do the maximum amount of damage here to put some pressure on him, because it might force him to switch. Yeah, he's gonna switch. And I'm gonna do a Whirlwind, right? Right? Oh, sh du double, double colorless energy on Pidgey. Um, how about Rattata? Because it's got a free retreat cost. <laughs> That's using the old noodle. No retreat cost Pokemon are pretty useful for that sort of thing. So, okay, what can I do? Um, <laughs> I most certainly am going to retreat back to Magmar. I'm just going to start with that. And, uh, uh, I wish I had a gust of wind, because I'd be able to wipe out nine tails right away. Eh, hmm, nee. Eh, let's just go for a smog and hope for a heads coin flip. Pidgey is not that threatening, so, yeah, it's not really a really worrisome Pokemon or anything like that. It's just that I know he's going to make me switch again, uh, because of the whole... Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh no! He's going to knock out my... Magmar's energy cards! Oh, no! <laughs> hmm. Now I'm probably gonna want to attack with Rattata, actually. Hmm. Oh, I got a fire energy card. Okay. So, just gonna do the same thing, except this time I'm gonna give you smoke screen because I don't have the energy for smog, and it's, it would have knocked them out anyway, so yeah. Just trying to get those energy cards. By the way, that smoke screen will not cause uh, the effect of possibly preventing an attack because of the whole thing of that there is... It only affects the active Pokémon on the opponent's side, and since I knocked out the active Pokémon, yeah, <laughs> it's gone! There's no effect on that. Alright, so... Let's get Eradicate going here. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm still unsure what to do. Well, 
I know Magmar's safe from any sorts of knockout or anything like that, so I guess I don't have to switch or anything like that. I'm just thinking if I should have switched now or later because I don't know if I'll be able to get the attacks out if he decides to super energy removal again. And yeah, because uh, see, if he was it were to energy removal, he'd only be able to choose one of my Pokemon. So you'd have to choose between Raticate or Magmar, basically, because they're my current aces on the field. So yeah, and then I would have, you know, two attackers to, ready to go. But if I retreated Magmar to Raticate, I would have had only one uh, special, you know, type of Pokemon that would give me the best advantage to the situation, and thus he could have energy removal that Pokemon. And yeah, <laughs> I mean, I grant that I could still use Bite. But it's a thing of that I'd like to have the the Super Fang just in case of a higher HP Pokemon. All right, I win. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's see the prize. Fire Energy. Well, that worked out pretty well. Pretty decent duel there. And let's see our prizes. You know, real deal prizes of the booster packs. Coliseum, you get from him another Tug Trio. The man, these things are prevalent. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 that's going in my deck ASAP. <laughs> and what did I get here? Oh, Zapdos. Remember this card? Yep, the one that uses a lot of energy. Still uses a lot of energy. <laughs> uh, oops. Ooh, another Arcane. I might want to plop that one in as well to balance out my uh, Growlithe arsenal. Because I might actually be able to uh, rebalance my deck now that I'm getting more energy cards. Um, let's see here. Let's go in here and tweak my deck before the end of the part. So, do I have some fighting en Ah, I'm still lacking fighting energy. That is not ideal. <laughs> I mean, I could uh, use low fighting energy and uh, a lot of fire energy and make it like a fire fighting deck and, you know, just have like basic fighting Pokemon for the most part that doesn't use all of that many uh, fighting energy cards. You know, like say, four Machop, and uh, uh, we'll go in here, I'll take out the Magnemites, and then we'll go get... I guess I'll try that for kicks. I don't know, though. Go three... Oh, I already had another Arcane Eye. Why didn't I do that earlier? You know, I'll do that. And then... Oh, I still gotta do some more balancing here. Maybe I should actually leave it like, like that. Uh, I like these Magmars. I shouldn't go off without those Magmars. Uh, maybe I'll actually reduce these a little bit. That might be a little too much, because Growlithe's Flare requires two energy cards. So Growlithe isn't really the best starter basic Pokémon out there, and neither is Arcanine. So uh, Arcanine is, is more like a later game type of thing. Okay, and let's go back in here, and maybe I'll drop Onyx. Onyx hasn't been super, super useful to me. And... Okay, so how many basic Pokemon? I got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That should be good. You want about twelve basic Pokemon, uh, twelve to fourteen around there, so that's pretty good. Uh, so that's to increase your chances of having basic Pokemon around. And now for the trainer cards, you gotta get that Professor Oak in there. And since I got another Arcanine, I should probably, yeah, double colorless it up. Uh, I gotta get rid of the lightning now. Uh, let's go up to, how about, uh, 22 energy cards, that should be okay. And one more trainer card. Uh, boo -doo -boo -boo -doo. Um, um, <laughs> I'm, th I'm tempted to do another computer search, even though it burns cards that I might need to use for fire Pokemon. Uh, uh, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should go for another full heal. Uh, I've got so many cards now, I don't know what to do! <laughs> if only I had more energy removals. If only I had more. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go for... I think another computer search. Because at the very least, I could keep it in my hand and discard it 
<laughs> for another computer, I mean, you'll like use a computer search to discard a computer search, or Professor Oak away the computer search if I really don't need the computer search or something like that. But computer search are a pretty nice card, but don't don't put too many of them. You'll burn a lot of cards, so I, I would say two is max. Uh, although I'm, I'm tempted to put more gust of winds in uh, in favor of other stuff. Because they've been kind of useful, but I've got two of them, and you, you always want to have, like, two copies of something, too, by the way. Uh, if you can help it, because it just increases the chances of things not being in your prize cards, so that you can pull it off from your deck. I'm kind of iffy with the full heals, actually, so maybe I'll pull that out and put another Gust of Wind. Okay, sound good? I streamlined my cards a little bit there. And, uh, by the way, I, I, I know I said to have more than one of things if you can help it. Well, I don't have more than one. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm using the one I have here because super energy removal is pretty nice. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna save that and end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I tackle the Clubmaster Ken!